And so the Financial Action Task Force has blacklisted Iran for failing to comply with international anti-terrorism financing norms. The move is likely to increase the economic crisis hit country's isolation further from financial markets. The Paris-based anti-terror watchdog has been wanting to place Iran on the blacklist since the past three years. The FATF said that Iran had failed to implement its action plan to curb terror. There will be adverse consequences for Iran, which is already reeling under U.S. sanctions. Financial transactions with Iran will be met with more scrutiny. Iranian financial firms will also face tougher external auditing. There will be extra pressure on foreign firms still dealing with Iran. The country also faces the risk of further isolation from global finance bodies like the IMF. Meanwhile, the U.S hailed Iran's blacklisting, saying that the country must face consequences for its continued failure to abide by international norms. Iran dismissed the FATF's move as being politically motivated. It said that the watchdog was pressurized by Washington. Iranian leadership has been divided over the FATF's action plan. Supporters of cooperation say it could ease foreign trade with Europe and Asia, while hardliners argue that the move can hamper Iran's support for its allies including Lebanon's Hezbollah.